Today, let's understand the internal working of a hash set in Java. A set is a collection in Java that doesn't allow duplicates and stores elements in a random order. Even if we try to add duplicates, hash set silently ignores them. But the question is, how does it know what's duplicate? So when we create a hash set, internally it creates a hash map. Each element becomes a key in the map and all the values are a dummy constant object present. When we invoke set.addJava, it tries to put element in map. Put method returns value of the key if it already exists, else null. When we invoke add Java for the first time, put returns null and hence elements gets added in the map. When we invoke add Java second time, put returns present and hence elements don't get added in the map. Since it has to store data in hash map, it uses hashing internally. It uses elements hash code to compute a hash which decides which bucket the element should go into the internal array. Remember, I said map uses an array internally. Now, if two elements have the same hash, then hash set uses the equals method to check if they are actually equal or not. If equal returns true, that means they are duplicate and hence it won't be added. But in case if equals return false, then it's added to the same bucket of the map. Due to hashing, elements are placed in buckets and not in the insertion order. That's why hash set gives you unordered unique elements. Since Java 8, hash map uses red black trees for high collision buckets. That means better performance for large sets and hash set benefits too. We have already discussed about this in previous short video. Do like the video if you find it helpful, share it with your friends and also suggest the next Java topic which you want me to cover in the same way. Thanks.